and welcome back to my channel. My name's Simran and I'm a final year medical student studying at Imperial. If you haven't seen me before, I basically make videos about medicine, lifestyle, fashion, you know, all of that whilst keeping it real with you guys about my experiences. So make sure you click that subscribe button to join me on my journey. I'm sure you can tell from the title of this video and this little prop, okay, not little, quite big <laughs> prop that I have here. I'm gonna be taking you through what's in my university backpack. Not gonna lie, I'm actually really nosy and I always wanna know what's in people's backpacks because like at university, people are carrying these massive backpacks and I'm like, what's in there? And I have one of those as well, so don't you worry guys. I'll be taking you through everything. I'm gonna start off by telling you how obsessed I am with this bag. I ordered this before, you know, Miss Rona came around and shut down the university and like my placements and stuff. And I'm so glad that I can finally use it now because it's been furloughed sitting in my room like- Sim, when are you planning on taking me out? What am I supposed to do just sitting here? Huh? It's one of my favorite bags that I've had throughout like my school time and throughout university as well. And that's a really long time, guys. Like I've been in education for more than, oh my God. Oh my God, I'm not telling you. It's basically this amalgamation of incredible storage space, looking cute and also being waterproof. And who wouldn't be down for a bag like this? I managed to convince two of my friends to actually, you know, look into getting this bag. And I'm proper gassed about it because guys, this is truly into life. Sim, chill. Let's go through the front pocket. So when I first got the bag, I was trying to undo this, but like it wouldn't come off. And to be honest, I was thinking, oh my God, this is such a hassle. And then I realized, okay. Oh, then I realized, bam, you get to open it like this. And it's so convenient because the front pocket needs to be so easily accessible and I would hate to like have to undo the buckle every single time I wanted to go in. In my front pocket, I have all the stuff that I need to get access to ASAP and also all the rubbish that I just chuck in. So this is like my little card handle thing. And it's actually really convenient because I can just slip it into my scrubs, slip it into my pockets, and I don't need to really carry anything else. So as you can tell by the jingle, we have uh, coins in here. There's also different cards and stuff. So I have my Oyster card, I have my bank card, my driving license, and also my NHS card because you know, Nando's discount. I have a much bigger wallet with all of my cards in, but it's not really useful carrying that around because I have an app on my phone called Storecard which saves all my loyalty cards. I'd highly recommend because it's such a massive space saving tip. Another thing I have in there is a matching, guys, I'm just so cute and organized lol. <laughs> um, it's more like a makeup bag sort of thing. So I have paracetamol, like, you know, you need to have your painkillers on you just in case. My lip thing, and I don't really wear makeup. This is the first time I'm wearing makeup in such a long time, like I make an effort for you guys, but otherwise I look dead 24 seven. I also have some sanitary towels in here and I have these um, satin, ooh, so much better for your hair. It doesn't kink your hair as much and also it protects it from ripping out. Um, so these hairbands are really good. I always have one on me anyway and this hairband is just as a backup. So that's what's in here and we just boom, zip it up. I, then I also have my car keys because, you know, your girl drives like screw screw. Okay, guys, I want you to guess. Okay, like literally pause video and guess what this is. Drum roll. It's an AirPods case, guys. Firstly, you'd never lose your case. Secondly, you don't mix it up. And it just looks so cute. So I also have that in my front pocket. Now I have like some extra bits and pieces in here. Uh, I have an adventure golf thing. I also have like... Okay, never make this mistake. Always take your rail card when you go on trains because I had to buy another ticket, um, which I need to return to get my refund because I didn't have my rail card on me. It's so annoying. But the front pocket is just to chuck random stuff in um, and also keep your essentials as well. Guys, we're gonna move on to the side pockets. We have two side pockets um, and one of them is for my water bottle. Now I have this insulated water bottle and it's so nice because I really like having warm water in the morning. It's apparently really good for you so i always have um hot water that i filled from the night before and it stays for like over 36 hours or something during the summer this is such a godsend because it keeps all your drinks so cold one of the annoying things about this bag is that if i have too much inside i won't be able to fit this in because it's not elastic 
but then again I think it's just to make it look aesthetically pleasing so yeah and then on the other side is I just use this as a chuck in a few other bits and bobs so I always have like pens in here because you know a doctor needs a pen you need to write something on the ward round I have to replace every like month or so because someone will always steal your pen um, and I always have these pens which hook onto this so it's like really convenient um, and I also have um, my lip balm we're gonna do the big reveal of what's inside my bit so you can open it all the way and it goes out like this it's like a little mini suitcase you know guys look so I have stuff on this side and I also have stuff inside so we'll go through what's in on this side I have my ID badge in a, like a little pocket here because I can just whoop and then there we go. Already going into hospitals and placements is so long because like I have to make sure I sanitize my hands, I have to make sure I have my mask on, like it's just a lot of things going on and I don't need to be like scrummaging for my ID badge when I get to hospital and stuff. So I always keep it in here. What I'd highly recommend when you get onto placements, make sure you carry around like your little um, watch thing. So it's better if you have it on your lanyard because um, you'll be able to like measure pulse, time it 15 seconds and then times it by four and respiratory rate as well and it's just better than getting your phone out not worth the faff to be honest and it's like six pounds or something which is a really good investment this is like a little section of its own and what i do is i keep my masks in here normally i have masks anyway but i have two spare ones just in case i need to get those like cotton ones because i don't know like these ones give me really bad acne so that's the two pockets at the front then bam you open this up and I have my little Kindle in here, which is being made a bit redundant because when I used to use public transport, this used to be like the ideal thing. But now because majority of the time I drive in now, it's just so sad that I can't like, can't read my books and stuff, but it's fine because I listen to podcasts and all of that jazz. So then I have another zip at the top, which goes into here. Okay, I would highly recommend this. Let me show you what I have first. <laughs> so I have a pack of Uno cards in here. The reason is sometimes when you're on placement, there's times where you're not really doing anything. Like I've said in my previous videos there's a lot of time where you're waiting around for either your consultant teaching you know just in general for like the next thing to happen and if you're chilling in the common room you might as well play a game of uno of course i could be doing flashcards or questions but this is my last year of university i want to make the most of it um so i'd rather sit and talk to people and socialize okay so let's move on to the inside of my bag on the side there's these elastic um little pockets which i guess you can put your water bottle in on the inside why would i put my water bottle on the inside because like what if it spills and stuff like i can't handle it so on this side i have my portable charger and i don't have like a plug point because for example if my power bank runs out i'll always have my laptop on me um to charge my phone then i also have my pencil case i've literally kept this habit since gcse's when you had to first get a clear pencil case i've never used another cute pencil case um since then i don't know like about you guys but I still write with like a fountain pen. That is my go-to pen. Um, I don't know if anyone else uses fountain pens till this day because I don't write that much now because of the iPad and like the pen and everything. So I really want to have like a really nice writing experience. And for me, that comes through a fountain pen. Oh my God, why am I thinking so deep into this? The next thing I have is my stethoscope. It's just like chucked in. This stethoscope is so cute because it has Imperial 2017 on here. And that's when I got my stethoscope. I feel like this will be such a memorabilia um in the future like when i graduate okay so that's my stethoscope i also have my laptop charger in here because you never know when your laptop runs out or when someone else needs it as well. I also have my iPad in here. I literally love my iPad. At Imperial, you get an iPad. And again, this also has Imperial College London School of Medicine. Like, you know, it's just... I've had this iPad for like two years now, but the novelty just never wears away. There used to be like an elastic band where you could put your pen and stuff in. I broke that obviously because I'm a very fidgety person. So um, I bought this and I have my pen in here. Apple Pencil that's compatible with this iPad is only the generation one. And I don't like that as much because it's like too long. It doesn't feel that nice. Um, and the Logitech pen was cheaper as well. So I'll link that down below. And I also got a um, student discount with it. So if you use student beans, you get like X percent off and stuff as well. And then the 
the last thing I have in here is, again, can you see it's like padded? It's like really nice. Like I'm just obsessed with this bag. In here I have my laptop and my laptop is the MacBook Pro 13 inch. It's like the old one. So it's not like the USB-C one. I got this when I first started university six years ago now and it's still going. It's like lasting me till like now. I edit my videos on it. The storage on here isn't that great. I have to have an external hard drive that I transfer everything onto. The laptops are expensive from Mac, but they're such an investment because this has lasted me so long and I'm not sure if any other sort of product would have lasted me this long. Things that aren't in the bag, which would be in the bag, are things like my lunch and a few snacks. And the reason why I've started like taking my own lunches and stuff is because if you watch my previous video about how much I spend in a week, I'll like link it up here. I spend so much money on eating out and therefore I decided to you know make that transition to making my own lunches and I feel so proud of myself when I have like a lunch as well and I'm like oh yeah I made this that's me that basically brings us to the end of what's in my bag thank you so much for watching guys it really means so much to me if you like this video make sure you give it a thumbs up check out a few other videos I've made on life at medical school and follow me on instagram as well thank you so much for watching